Oh, hello. Welcome to the Biotopes. Welcome back here to part two of this sump upgrade. So I'm going to install this sump right here um, onto this stack of 75s. It's currently got that 10 gallon sump and we're going to put this 20 gallon long uh, DIY sump in there and um, increase our filtration. So thanks for stopping at the Biotope Gallery and uh, let's get started. So here is the sump that we built with a 20 gallon long. Put those uh, baffles in. Uh, those are custom acrylic baffles from Marine Biosystems. Check out part one um, when we built that, uh, put those baffles in. So we're gonna take that sump, we're gonna put it there. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clear all the stuff underneath here and get everything ready to um, basically turn the sumps off or turn the pumps off and get the water out of there and then uh, I've got some cut uh, yoga mat to fit under this tank that will help with insulation on this concrete floor especially in the winter time this concrete gets cold it'll suck the heat right out of that system so we want to put some kind of insulation in between the tank and the concrete so uh, come along for the ride and we'll get this area cleaned up and get ready to turn the pumps off All right, now that we got that area cleaned off, we're going to uh, prep this sump. I'm going to take this light off and the lid so we can get access to everything. And then I think the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put this pump in into that sump there so I can pump the water out as I turn the, the pumps off, these two pumps here, so that... Um, you know, we can kind of start getting as much water out of the system as possible. Um, because what I, what I need to do eventually is um, take the return hoses. This one will be easy. The other one's going to be in that bulkhead. I've got to uh, take that bulkhead apart. And um, I want to make sure all the water is out of the system for that. So that's the next step. Here we go. Okay, so now this, this pump here is pumping up into our drain right there, and that's being that that pipe right there drains out of the room. And meanwhile, you can see some of the water is returning, but these pumps are off. So we're just gonna drain this as much water out of the system so none no more water overflows from those overflows. And uh then everything will be offline and I will detach these hoses, these two return hoses. Um, I'll probably get those pumps out of the way too. I'll put a towel down or something and, and keep that from leaking too, too much water. And then uh, we'll get this tank out of the way. So now I'm just waiting for that to finish draining.
Okay, so I'm gonna actually take this opportunity to clean out these pumps. They are they're pretty dirty, and um, you know, Miles will take an opportunity to, to kind of clean out the impellers and give those a service, and um, they'll last that much longer for us uh, in the long run. So while this is draining out, this is still draining down here, just gravity fed at this point. Um, I'm gonna go clean those out. And then once everything's drained, I'll get this tank out of this and get that cleaned up and get the new one in place. Here we go. All right, so that's the first pump clean. I don't know if you can tell, but it is like brand spanking new. And uh, this is the, I'm using a Bubble Max WP2000. Um, it's 48 watts. So again, this is like a 50 watt heater in your system. So that's why I don't need to run heaters on these. I've got two, essentially two 50 watt heaters in this 275 gallon system. Um, I will, I do use a small space heater, but that just keeps, you know, the temp at, in the room at like 72, just comfortable. Um, so it doesn't get too low, but anyway, that's one clean. Let's get this other one clean. I'll see if I can detach this and show you guys how dirty this is. Pull this plug out. You can see here, this is a Synchro 3.0 and it is just full of Malm. And uh, we're going to get into that and clean out that impeller and everything. And again, it'll, these pumps have probably been going um, probably two years for me uh, with not much of a service at all. So it's a good opportunity to get this done. So we'll get this one clean next. All right, there's our second pump clean. You can probably see, uh, at least from the outside, how clean it is and even cleaner on the inside. So that one's ready. So <clears throat> the last couple trickles are coming out of this return hose here. We'll let that go. I'll get as much of this water out of this sump pumped out as I can uh, with our little portable pump. And then uh, I'm gonna try to move just this whole thing out, get the new one in in place and start uh, hooking up and filling with media. I will say too that like with these pumps, I just used tap water in a utility sink. There's not enough beneficial bacteria on these. There's tons in these two uh, aquariums. So I'm not worried about crashing the cycle or um, ruining beneficial bacteria. I use cold tap water. Um, I'll do the same with really whatever media I reuse in here because in the grand scheme of things, it's a pretty small percentage of um, of bacteria that I need. All most of the bacteria is in the substrate, on the wood, plants, um, in both of these, the rocks, um, in these two tanks. So not worried about crashing the cycle. But got those cleaned. Next, we'll get this uh, get this tank finished draining and get it out of here.
All right, so you can see here we are just drip, drip, dropping the last little bit, and I really want to wait till that is fully drained. Um, you can see that the water level's down pretty good. Um, I want to get this switched out, but I also don't want a bunch of water draining down and making a huge mess. So I'm just going to kind of wait till that is done and then um, we'll be able to move this tank out of the way. All right. See you when it's all set. All right, so we've got the tank out of there. I still got a little drip here. I'm just sopping that up. You can see I put some like high density foam down here as my insulation. I'm gonna put this 10 gallon in. So get that out. And then here's the old sump. This is just a DIY trickle filter with these like drawer things you can buy anywhere. Some Metallomat, some sponge. Here's the bulkhead. I was able to save the hose. This is all cemented together, this elbow to bulkhead, but I was able to use a, a heat gun and heat the hose up enough to get that off that barb fitting. So that was great because I wanted to try to save as much hose as I could. So I don't know off the, you know, this bulkhead isn't going to come out of here. It's because it's cemented. So I'll have to see, uh, maybe I'll if anybody's interested in a drilled 10 gallon like this, um, you know, could be an overflow or return either way. So let me know, but uh, we'll get this out. I'll get this media cleaned and um, I'm going to get that area cleaned first and get the sump into place. And I'll kind of worry about this after I, I do that. But first things first is to get this cleaned up and then get that sump underneath there. This is, my water kind of uh, fill station. So I got to get the tank under there, get those hoses, see if I can get them fitted in those uh, filter sock holes there and uh, see how it goes. All right, here we go. Here's this, just a, it's just an old yoga mat that I cut to size to fit a 20 long. So again, I'm gonna lay that down first so that the cement floor and the water in the system are insulated against each other. Um, like I said before, in the winter time, the cement floor, um, you know, there's no basement underneath, so it will uh, get cooler in the winter and we want to uh, insulate the water in the system. So we're gonna put that down first and then put the tank on top. All right, here's our sump. So I'll probably just start with taking that out, just so it makes it a little bit easier to move around. This uh, mat is all rolly, so I'll put it down this way. Let me add a little bit and fit this in. Again, this 20 long is the biggest I can fit in here without doing something custom. Get the 
this fill valve, there we go, over the rim. Okay, so the sump is in place. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do about these hoses. I'm gonna put that sock holder in there. I might need to make some kind of extension or move the sump over a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna play around with that and hopefully it's not too big of an issue, but the fill lines right there, that's good. Um, so that's gonna fit to wherever. This will be my return pump area here. And uh, so, yeah, the biggest issue is let's see if I can get these hoses into the filter sock holders. I feel like they're gonna be too short and I might need to put some kind of adapter on there just to lengthen them out a little bit. So, cause they come from the back. It's just a weird angle here. So, all right, here we go. Yeah, there's not long enough here, so um, not sure. I'm gonna have to brainstorm on this guy. Don't know what to do yet. So very interesting. All right, everybody, we are here the next day. This sump is fully operational. Now, let me walk you through what we've got going on here and some of the problems that I had to fix along the way. So um, let me just move this lid here. So here are socks. So what I had is, uh, let me get you guys kind of in here. So I put in these two clear plastic, these are actually upload tubes uh, from sponge filters. This one's a little bit bigger, fits exactly into this one inch uh, barbed to, I guess, slip elbow. Um, so that worked really well, and that way it's not as loud and splashy. Same thing over here. Uh, I put this smaller uplift tube, and that fit inside the inner diameter of a three-quarter hose. So that's that quiets it down quite a bit for that water coming in. Um, you can see I've already got some, uh, some in the filter sock. So that's that one back there is pretty dirty. So that's, that's doing a good job. These are 200 micron filter socks. Um, kind of comes over that baffle. I've got some sponge here. This is like a, a really coarse metallomat and some other sponge just to kind of hold bacteria. Works across here into this uh, baffle that sets the, the height of the water. And then, um, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got uh, some kind of finer uh, sponge and then a big bag of uh, media, so like ceramic media, ceramic rings, and that gets sucked down underneath here and across and into the, the two pumps, and then I've got them uh, with ball valves going back up to the tank and into the two 75-gallon setups there. The last thing I really need to do is um, cut out a custom lid for this. So I'll use this sheet here. So just kind of measure that and cut that out. So that will help with the noise and the 
um, evaporation from the sump. It's a little bit loud here from the pumps. I'm playing with the water level. Um, so I'm still messing with that and kind of down that in, but it's working great. There's just a little bit of a hum. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but, you know, really am happy with the acrylic baffles from Marine Biosystems. And I got these uh, 200 micron sock, uh, filter socks from Salty Critter here in town. And uh, it's working great. I had to do a little DIY here and there just to get it set up with the, um, the intakes. But happy with it. And again, like I said, just getting that, got to get that lid made there. So that's it uh, for this part two of the 20 gallon long. Grade. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me and sticking around to the end for this video. If you have any questions um, or if you want to share some info about your sumps, I'd love to hear about it. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Please hit subscribe, share this with your friends, give it a like. It really helps me out a lot. We are uh, pushing towards 600 subs, so uh, it's really been great. Thank you guys so much for coming along on the journey with me. And we'll see you next time here in the Biotopes.